going to continue our discussion about how to feed our pet to get the best health out of them. Once you have decided what main product you're going to feed your pet, whether that be the raw prepared diet or your home prepared cooked diet or your commercially available diet, then we need to start looking at what other nutritional supplements and products do we need to maximize our pet's usage of that food. Because the best food in the world basically passes through our body and ends up being feces if our body actually can't break it down, digest it, and utilize it appropriately. So we do want to make sure that is apparent. With our younger dogs, they may be doing well, but depending on our breeding and other insufficiencies that have gotten in there, we do want to make sure. One of the first things I always look at is enzyme levels. If we're not having adequate digestion and absorption of the food, then we want to look at something like this product, which is just one that I like, that does digest, it's a digestive enzyme, a full pancreatic, so that they are properly digesting and utilizing the food. This can very commonly just be mixed right in with the food at the time of feeding and it's readily palatable so that the pets can digest it. We will also look at does the pet need some kind of probiotics, which is the beneficial organisms that balance the lower gut so that we don't have uh, inappropriate digestion going on in the lower colon. With the, and this happens to be one commercially. I've had some people use some good quality yogurts and a variety of things that we're just looking to get primarily some lactobacillus bifidum, some lactobacillus rudii. Lactobacillus acidophilus is a minor player, but it's there. So we're looking for a balance of the beneficial organisms that simply don't last very long in the gut, but that they are necessary. There are other things that we can look at to put into our pets. This is a glucosamine supplement, and many people are, are looking at their joint health of their pets, just like they are with theirs. And there's a variety of joint supplements that are out there. This happens to be a liquid one. It's very palatable, so it, that ends up being easier to get into the food, but we don't uh, into the pet, but we don't want to mix it in with the food. The optimal absorption of glucosamine sulfate, which is the only source we want to use, is used on an empty stomach or given into a small amount of food but separated from the main meal by an hour or more because it will engage with the fat in this diet and then we don't have the enzyme to get it back off so we'll lose as much as 38 to 40 percent of our perfectly good glucosamine sulfate to our joint health by feeding it with our meal other sources of glucosamine don't have that effect but they're also much more uh, inadequately digested. Some people will utilize an encapsulated version because they can more readily separate from the meal, put it in a little small ball of some kind of treat and get it down to their puppy dog in a, in a more easy fashion. I've also had individuals open up these capsules, mix it into that tiny bit of fat for a yogurt and the pet takes it down as a snack later in the day. But we do want to make sure when you're getting a good glucosamine sulfate product into your pet that you are not lo losing any amount of that by by feeding it with your full fat diets. If you or I are taking it, if we're having that bowl of cereal in the morning with the fat free milk, it's not an issue. If we're sitting down to that steak and that loaded up potato, we probably don't want to take our glucosamine during that meal because we're going to lose some of it. So just picking and choosing when you can do this to maximize the effect. And finally, there are different supplements we can use to simply stimulate our pet's immune system and balance things out more so than just a, a good diet because, again, we have genetically uh, challenged our pets with their ability to deal with our environment and they're in the same environment we have and we certainly recognize there are lots of environmental stressors that compromise our immune system and so this just happens to be one supplement that has a combination of herbs, so it's an herbal concoction that you can supplement into the food to just overall generally boost and tone up the immune system.